especially not you. When I wrote it, like it was just an acoustic demo, and I didn't really know where it was gonna go or like if it was gonna be a winner. I just liked the pre-chorus because it was, you know. Do um, you think we have the any original demo? Yeah, I demo think so. of it, like the Logic Project, maybe? Yeah. It's out of time too. <laughs> I'm going at a time on the chugs at 55. I knew it needed, it lacked something. Like when we were working on Nick's house, like he liked it, but he was like, it just kind of wasn't feeling it. And I was like, bro, I'll get guitars on it, get some drop C on it, it's gonna be fine. And then like we got the drop C on it, it was just still kind of eh. It just was dragging. And then I was texting my buddy about it and I sent him the stems. He was like, it's great. And I still, I still remember the text messages. He was like, yeah, uh, it's cool, but Pop, and it's pop punk, but like, yeah, he said, he was like, it feels like it should be faster. We come up here and we were kind of having a conversation, me and Corey, about how fast should it be? So we started like, we bumped it to 150 and it was like, man, eh, eh, like 160. And I put it to 170 and he's like, he looks at me and he's like, 172. As soon as we like got the drums going on it and I was playing guitar on it, we were just like, yeah, this is the move. You needed space. While I was tracking drums, part was going to be completely different for the second verse. And then he stops the click on me, and I looked over, I was like, what? And he was like, blast beat? And I was like, he was like, no, 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 no. And I remember we got in the studio and we're ready to, we're starting to track guitars. And I was like, dude, I don't even know where to begin. Luckily, Corey was around. Kind of that initial lead line that comes in right at the beginning. That was basically all Steven had. Like, and he kind of was like saying it. He was like, I just, I want something like that. I was just playing around kind of in the box around there. It was ridiculously fast. I was like, bro, like, I mean, he was singing it. So like, you know what I mean? He had no sense of how to, how to actually play that. And he was like, just do it. And I was like, all right, like, I'll try. <laughs> And then we get to the chorus and I'm like, dude, we need to like have some sick, like, like a kind of flowing lead line throughout the whole chorus. I think it'd be so cool. And so I was playing around with stuff and like, I didn't, I wrote maybe like 80% of it. I helped Corey actually sat down with me and we ended up finishing the part together. Super proud of it actually. I think it's a, I think it's like, I mean, it gets stuck in your head all the time. Even it's, and it's really fun to play. That's the other thing too. Like it's fun to play. Dude, he was like, we need a solo. And I was like, bro, like, I don't even know how to play guitar. I'm like, what is it? What's a solo? <laughs> Learned three weeks ago, man. Yeah, and I was like, I was like, all right. Solo? <laughs> I was like, all right, I guess I could do a solo, you know what I mean? And so I was like, I had no idea what I was gonna do. I got the idea from uh, Misery Business. Yeah, kind of like ascending, kind of simple solo. And I was like, I mean, I can handle this, you know, I can pull this off. All right, yeah, let's grab it. Real take number one, let's do this. So that's the first time I ever put vocals on any song ever. It's the first time I ever, this is the first time I ever actually sang lead in the band on anything. So like, it was just a whole new experience. And we had a whole squad roll through. It was, I think it was a necessary thing because I was like, just stressing. All right, you're going to breathe early and be, this is all going to be straight and percussive, okay? Mm -hmm. The problem was you, not me. All your friends are mine now. It's hard to live a lie now. Vocal style was kind of Ben Camino-esque. I wanted to kind of capture some of that, but then I wanted to add my own kind of punk flair to it and get some vocal fry and stuff like that in there. And it's a, it's a crazy experience, like actually doing, like cutting vocals yourself. Like you get respect for the process. Like people who actually do this, like you spend four hours in a vocal booth singing the same stuff over and over and over again. You don't comprehend it until, until you actually do it. And a two-sided story is all it'll be Cause you're saving face And I'm losing sleep But I guess you didn't know That the truth would be so cold 